It's the Bolt Coaster on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Welcome to the Carnival Mardi Gras in February of 2022. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel. You're looking at the Bolt Roller Coaster on the Mardi Gras, the back of the ship with a uh, nice wake view going on as we're docked here in Grand Turk in the Turks and Caicos. There's uh, our Grand Turk right there. You know, for some reason on this cruise, we were kind of about two thirds of the way through the cruise at this point when the video was recorded. And for the first several days of our cruise in February 2022 on the Mardi Gras, the Bolt roller coaster was not operating. It was, uh, I don't know, they never explained exactly why, but I just sort of noticed uh, once we got back on the ship after our excursion that morning in Grand Turk, and I'm back here recording video, uh, you know, getting ready for the sail away and everything, and all of a sudden the Bolt coaster is running. I was like, hey, that's the first time I think I've seen the Bolt roller coaster running throughout the entire cruise. And here we are, like, close to the end of the cruise. So I'm not sure if they were having some mechanical issues or whatever, but um, we were interested in the bolt coaster when we first got on the ship. And at that time in February, 2022, it was still pretty new. The ship itself was pretty new. This was our first Carnival cruise, so our introduction to Carnival on the newest ship in the fleet at that time. And we looked at the bolt coaster and was like, oh, that might be interesting to ride it, but it's such a short ride, it's over before you know it. And I think they wanted like $20 or something. I forgot what the cost was. And it was just, we just never really pursued it. And of course, throughout most of the cruise, it wasn't operating anyway. So uh, since then, I'm sure it's become a, a big favorite. The Carnival Mardi Gras is just nonstop, seven nights, Saturday to Saturdays out of Port Canaveral, Florida. And I think now they've even got the celebration and maybe the Jubilee. They might even have two more ships out in the same class from Carnival. We, uh, we cruise mostly with Royal Caribbean, so this was our one and only cruise on Carnival so far, so I haven't been keeping up with them too much. We had a good time on the Carnival Mardi Gras. It's a beautiful ship. It was an interesting layout because it seemed like, it's kind of hard to explain this exactly, but it seemed like they kind of crammed as much stuff as they could onto the ship given its size. So there were, there were parts of the layout that felt a little just busy like too much stuff going on and they didn't give enough space for this or enough space for that so uh, we've got a full review of the carnival mardi gras on the vlog or uh, on the youtube channel so you want to check that out if you're interested in our in our thoughts in depth on the mardi gras beautiful ship um but here we are grand turk turks and caicos absolutely amazing location here uh, you see how blue that water is we did a tour around the island for our time in Grand Turk, so we did not do any water-related activities. But if we ever go back to Grand Turk, I would probably want to do something, maybe some snorkeling or something like that to get out there in that beautiful water. So February 2022, the next several episodes in the vlog series are going to be here from Grand Turk in the Turks and Caicos Islands. I think that was the Carnival Elation way out there in the, in the distance. They were here earlier. It looks like they've left since then. We'll go up here to the starboard side and take a look. Pretty sure the carnivalation is gone. I mean, it's them out in the distance. 